in all fairness, um, we have to recognize that we need more systemic change, and we are much too slow at getting to it. That raises the question, why is that happening, or why is it not happening fast? And I believe it has to do with, first of all, a lot of incentives that reward short-term thinking um, and act uh, activities, um, uh, both by the media, but also by um, markets and um, eventually even voters. Um, and secondly, there's a complexity at stake or in, in the play right now where it's kind of fair to say that a lot of us um, are in over our heads by the demands that are being posed upon us in terms of systemic uh, thinking or systems thinking. So the question that, that we are grappling um, with most um, of all is how to get to systemic um, change, how to get to it faster. And um, I think there are three elements to an answer which I'd like to submit here. One is it's not just business or finance. It needs to involve a broader set of stakeholders. As my previous speaker just said, uh, unless we also involve regulators, policy, policy makers early on, and NGOs, um, it's very, very hard um, to uh, get to change because there are so many opportunities to veto stuff and to delay um, implementation of uh, fundamental change. Secondly, we need to build up confidence that it can be done. And in many cases, it, it um, is quite risky to be ahead of the field, too far ahead of the field as a business. You don't want to be leading so far that you basically have nobody following you. So bringing along a lot of people basically means building up confidence that it can be done by sharing best practices, things like um, uh, uh, monitoring progress as the Carbon Disclosure Project does. And finally, um, we really need to track implementation. Systemic change is not about theory, it's about execution. And I think we are um, not doing too well in tracking both the progress but also the failures of progressing at an adequate speed. And finally, all of this need to be, uh, all of these elements need to be made visible to the citizens unless people understand that it affects their livelihood, that it's the desirable future of their children and of themselves. It's very hard to muster the long-term thinking in society.